What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Infinite Rider. We're here in the studio slash man cave slash garage slash whatever you want to call this. If it's your first time by the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the lower corner. Hit that bell notification so that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and go ahead and get this video a big old thumbs up. Earlier today, I was cleaning up my hard drive and I came across some footage I recorded in the summer on my GoPro of a demo ride I did on an Indian FTR 1200. So I was able to save some of the footage even though the GoPro kept freezing up and just literally murdered my footage. Like most of the important parts of that ride are not present, but I was able to salvage some of it. So I wanted to show y'all the footage as well as give you my thoughts on the FTR 1200. So check out the footage. right so I'm here doing a demo ride on the Indian FTR 1200 so we're gonna see what it rides like I've been on Harvey's a lot lately so this definitely feels different it feels back to the sports bike and I'm actually tippy toeing this thing it's rare it's kind of putting me back in the days of when I used to ride my sports bike I do love the display on this thing it has everything you could imagine let's see you got all your gauges you got a phone connection music settings and you got four modes it looks like range standard sport and track mode in track mode you can turn off the abs oh whoops it's supposed to be on this side not paying attention for the stagger formation all right so let's see how it does I gotta get used to where my feet controls are. I can't say it's the most comfortable. That's for damn sure. Let's get back to my gauge cluster. So we got a lot of information on there. Got your temperature outside, I think that is. Direction you're traveling. It has quite a bit of technology in the, in the gauge cluster. Oh. <laughs> It definitely has some power and I believe this model is going to be putting out about 120 horsepower. but I'm on that um, the FTR 1200 S so it might have a little more horsepower than the standard unit I'm not for sure I didn't get to read up on all the specs it definitely does not 100% does not ride like a cruiser. This rides like a naked street fighter or a sport bike. So basically, it looks like Indian designed a sports bike. And I'm assuming that the Bronx that Harley's coming out with next year um, is going to be similar to this or the direct competition for this bike. But again, we haven't had too many specs on that bike yet. Just a few images that have been leaked online. Well, not necessarily leaked. They put out the commercial um, showing what it's gonna look like. And it looks similar to this. So I'm assuming it's gonna have this type of riding stance. It's more of a, it's more like a street fighter or sporty, aggressive ride. The suspension feels fairly stiff, but that's again, that's what you want on a sportier bike that you're going to be riding very aggressively because you're not going to want a softer suspension because then the unit will be bottoming out quite a bit the seat is not comfortable i will have to say like that the seat is kind of uh, i'm wondering if they make some aftermarket seats it's a little stiff or firm too firm almost like i haven't even been out here that long and my ass is starting to hurt just a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to interrupt. I know y'all was watching the video, but I just had to jump in and let you know, like literally the comfort of that bike does not exist as far as for my butt. Because by the end of that ride, my butt was sore. I don't know if I had a bad seat or something or that seat was worn out. I don't know what it was, but literally at the end of that ride, my butt feel like 
it was about to be blistered or chapped. It was just, the seat was really hard. It wasn't necessarily firm. It just felt like I was sitting on a brick or I don't know. I don't know what it was, but the seat was literally not comfortable. So if you're planning on doing any type of long rides and you're considering this bike as a purchase, you will have to find some kind of way to make the seat softer. You might have to put like a memory foam pillow on there or something. I don't, I don't know, but whatever. Back to the footage. But that's because I'm used to sitting on plush seats. I'm pretty sure this seat is similar to when I had my R1. So can't be that big of a difference. It doesn't have mid controls or forwards. It's rear controls. My feet are um, back lined up directly with my butt tops or a little bit past it definitely has quite a bit of throttle response and again that may be due to the fact that i'm in sport mode when i twist this throttle i mean it goes the s comes with the acropovic 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 exhaust i can never pronounce that but whatever y'all know what i'm talking about I could see this for zipping around town or going up into the mountains to hit some twisties or just drag racing or on the track. This is like a, this is a track bike and that's what it was designed from. It was de designed, the engineering and design came directly from Indian's track bike for flat track racing or whatnot. And it feels like a track bike. That's what it feels like. It's not one you're going to want to take on like a long road trip or anything like that. Like I know in some of my other videos, I said with the Sportster, you wouldn't want to take it on a long road trip. But I know people who have, they've taken it like across country. Um, well, I don't personally know them, but I've seen them on some other YouTube channels. So you can ride the Sportster for quite a ways. This one, you're not going to want to be on too, too, too long. I could see the absolute furthest you would want to ride this without taking a break is maybe like two, maybe three hours max, but you're going to have like butt blisters because <laughs> this seat sucks. I like the styling of the bike. It has a very aggressive style. It looks good. Of course, you all know my favorite colors are red and black, so I definitely like the styling of the bike. I'm not really able to test out the power or how much power it has because again we're in a group ride and it's a little bit different than when i take out the harleys but oh my god <laughs> i just gave it like a little twist to throttle and it felt like the wheel was literally about to come up i can tell this thing is a willy monster and it does have full traction control abs braking in those different modes i like the fact that on a very sporty aggressive bike they put phone and music as an option on there of course it's not going to be playing from the bike i'm sure it's going to connect to your bluetooth some type of way and play that way but you can see what you're listening to and control it all from this display uh, that that's that's some pretty good technology there i think that's going with the times of innovation since everyone has some type of communication device and music and whatnot in their helmets it literally rides like a street fighter like a sports bike or something like that it does not ride like a typical indian or a harley or a cruiser so it technically should be in that sports bike category i feel like would i personally purchase one of these bikes maybe back in the day i would but me now i can't see myself owning the ftr 1200 but as far as for fun and power my favorite bike currently still is gonna have to be the um lowrider s that new lowrider s i'm still in love with that that's my favorite but is this a bad bike by all means no it's definitely not the one thing i do love about this bike is the technology i love the technology they incorporated with it the display is well lit you can see it in bright sunlight i think that's the thing i like the most on this bike is its display i really i really do like that display and all the different features it comes with and i like the fact how they put the controls right where it's easy access like if you hit that you can switch over to gauges and they got a little toggle bar 
so that you don't have to physically actually touch the um the display or anything to have this is my only motorcycle and my main and solo bike i don't think i would do that because i like to take comfortable rides and sometimes i want to go a little ways i feel everything in the road i can literally feel all of the road but it's not like uncomfortable if that makes sense but i can feel the cracks i can feel the texture of the road i can feel all of that coming through the bike but again that's a good thing for a sporty or aggressive bike because you're getting that road feedback and i can literally feel all of it but when i hit a bump it's not like it's bottoming out or jamming that bump through my spine still feels comfortable the grips on this bike or the throttle and the, um, the grips they're not that comfortable but that could be because they're worn out because this is a demo bike so I'm not gonna knock Indian for that so in ending I did miss out on quite a bit of footage from this video but overall my thoughts on the FTR 1200 is it's not a bad bike it's basically an Indian street fighter or naked bike um it has an aggressive riding position it's very very sporty but it's really really uncomfortable um as far as the seat and that could just be me because i'm used to riding more comfortable bikes now but if i was choosing a bike of that style that probably wouldn't be my first choice um, there's a lot of other options that you can go with if you're looking for a street fighter or a naked bike and there's a lot of options that are a lot better but if you are a fan of Indian and you want a very sporty bike then that may be an option for you I mean it's not a bike I would say completely pass up if you're like heart pressed or you're just dying to have one then go get one make a review video let me know what y'all think of it but me personally, if I was looking for a bike of that style, that would definitely not be my first choice. But let me know what y'all think. Did you like the bike? Do you like the look of it? Have you even ridden one of those? I mean, let me know. But make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and again, let me know all your thoughts down below. But it's your boy Infinite Rider signing out. Y'all stay safe, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels, people. Deuces. Is it recording? All right. Literally, the comfort of that bike does not exist as far as for my butt. Be so what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Infinite Rider. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Infinite Rider. Nope, that fucked up.